My name's Bob Hadrell. I work at the London Music School in Hackney, and I'm going to show you some various styles on the piano. <laughs> Playing the piano by ear is not an exact science. That is to say, because you're playing by ear, you're literally using your senses to get you, to get you where you want to be. But certain, there's a certain truth about music that always exists. So a major chord is always this. That means a minor chord is always this. And as you can see, the third has moved there. So the major chord, and then the minor chord, where the third has been moved down. In essence, every chord is either major or minor. So therefore, as I, as I go to the piano and I play a major chord here, then I play another major chord here, then I'll return to the major chord there. I've basically moved from the one chord, which is C, and I'm, I'm keeping it simple because the, the key of C is the, most, is the most accessible key, simply because it's based on all the white notes. All white notes, no sharps, no flats. If you're approaching this from an ear point of view, you're literally playing from ear, the best thing you can do is start in the key of C. The most accessible chords that you can play are as follows. That is C or one, six or A minor, four or F, five or G. Once you've got those four chords, you've actually played about 300,000 pop tunes. Once you've played it in C, all you have to do is work out the distance between those chords. That is one, six, literally on the sixth note of the scale, then four, four, five, five, back to one. Approaching the piano, you must realise that once you've played something in C, you've played it in every key, in as much as the distance between this is exactly the same as this. Now all I've done there is I've literally transposed the progression in C to another key in this case, G. Once you've played these chords, which is one, I'm, I'm, back in, I'm, st I'm staying in G. This is one, six, four, five, one. Once I realize that that is exactly the same in C as it is in G, I can play that, I can play that sequence in any key if I follow the same rules. That means that every time I approach the piano, if I'm playing by ear, literally, I'm literally listening for what's gonna happen next, then the chances are, as long as I'm in the, pop, in the realms of pop music, then the chords that I use for the majority of pop music is based on those chords. When the night has come, one, six, and the land is dark, four, and the moon, five, is the only light we'll see. 
No, I won't be afraid. Six. Won't shed no tears. Four. Just as long as you stand, you stand by one. So darling, darling, stand by me. Six. Stand by me. Four. Stand five. Stand by me. That song is built on four chords. The one chord, the six chord, the four chord, and the five chord. That song, and 3,000 like it. Once you, once you get the relationship between one, six, four, and five, back to one, you're on the road to playing by ear. And that's the beginning of how you play by ear. Thank <laughs> you.